I have not done this much in the first one, so let's get this started. Um, first night of Five Nights at Freddy's 2. <coughs> let's get this shit started, let's see what goes on. Yeah. Get there, there's that bear, and I don't know who that path. is. Uh, now, I want you to forget anything you Damn, may have heard about the old location. You know, uh, some people still have a somewhat <laughs> negative <laughs> impression of the company. Uh, that old restaurant was kind of left to rot for quite a while, <laughs> but I want to reassure you, Fastberry Entertainment is committed to family fun and, above all, faith. They've spent a small fortune on these new animatronics. Uh, facial recognition. Advanced mobility. They even let them walk around during the day. <laughs> Isn't that neat? <clears throat> but most importantly, they're all tied into some kind of criminal database so they can detect a predator a mile away. Heck, we should be paying them to guard you. Uh, now, that being said, no new system is without its kink. Uh, you're only the second guard to work at that location. Uh, the first guy finished his week but complained about conditions. Uh, we switched him over to the day shift. So, hey, lucky you, right? Uh, mainly he expressed concern that certain characters seem to move around at night and even attempt yeah, to no get shit, into they do move around. Now, from what we know, that should be impossible. Uh, that restaurant should be the safest place on Earth. So, while our engineers don't really have an explanation for this, the working theory is that the robots were never given a proper night mode. So, when it gets quiet, they think they're in the wrong room. So then they go try to find where the people are, and in this case, that's your office. So our temporary solution is this. There's a music box over by the prize counter, and it's rigged to be wound up remotely. So just every once in a while, switch over to the prize counter video feed and wind it up for a few seconds. It doesn't seem to affect all of the animatronics, but it does affect one of them. <clears throat> uh, and as for the rest of them, we have an even easier solution. You see, there may be a minor glitch move? in the system. Okay, so that's all I want to move. Robots thinking you lose an endoskeleton without a costume on and wanting to stuff you into the suit. So hey, we've given you <coughs> an empty Freddy Fazbear head. Problem solved. You can put it on any time okay, and go. leave it on for as long as you want. Eventually, anything that wandered in will wander back out. Uh, something else worth mentioning is kind of the quirky oh, modern shit, design. Shit, there's two of them that just left. You may have noticed there are no doors for you to close. <laughs> uh, but hey, you have a light, and even though your flashlight can run out of power, the building cannot. So don't worry about the place going dark. Well, I think that's it. Uh, you should be golden. Uh, check the light, put on the Freddy head if you need to. Oh shit, chick is right there. Uh, keep the music box wound up, piece of cake. Have a good night, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bruh. This isn't right.
Sanchez is still here. Jesus fucking Christ, that's the first time it fucking got me too. Holy shit. Okay, what do you got? Holy shit. I guess I'm chasing that one. Oh, that was it. Well, that was kind of whack. Well, hopefully, you guys enjoyed me jumping on uh, Five Nights at Freddy 2. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be sure to make another uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. And I'll see you guys then.